It's called Like I Stole It. I wear mostly black. Cat burglars wear black, and anarchists wear black. The difference between cat burglars and anarchists is burglars are quiet. <laughs> there are no memorable burgling chants. Don't carry a sign to a B&E job. Don't squat the house you rip off. People in foreign films also wear black. When I do my laundry, it looks like the television is turned off. <coughs> Think about it. Rent is theft. People who wear black smoke, except when they don't. Ninjas wear black and are quiet. Ninjas jump through windows, but so do anarchists and cat burglars. <laughs> I used to smoke, but I quit. Johnny Cash wore black, and Zorro, and Dracula. I never used bleach. Morticia wore black. Theft is not theft. Robin Hood should have worn black. Death wears a black, black robe. I quit smoking. I wore protest black to a funeral. And everybody knew. I can't save the world by yelling. I'm too old to kick high. My laundry's almost dry. I've got my black gloves on. I've got my hand in your pocket. Your wallet, it's mine. <laughs> Mike is weird. Can you hear me okay? It yeah. feels like it's going in and out. Okay. So one of the conversations happening in this room tonight is about family, and I thought I'd go with that. Um, so Sean Taylor, this one's for you. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the unhappy parts, which, which leaves very little. Mm -hmm. But what there's nice in it is for you. Yeah. Anyone not seen The Wizard of Oz in here? Okay, I'll explain it to you later. I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> My mother's in her bed in two worlds. She's watching movies on the ceiling. There are ants and chipmunks. I want to go home, she says. The tumors have bloomed like poppies, spread to her liver, streamed through her blood, have rooted to her lungs. The tumors are in there with my mother. Who's that, she asks. Who is just here? There's a man in the corner that only she can see. I need my coat, she says. I have to go home. I have the earrings, she says. She's holding two Ativan in her hand, small pearls of peace. There's so much to do, she sighs. Sepia tones and Auntie M. This is a real, truly live place. Some of it wasn't very nice, but most of it was beautiful. She sleeps in a field of poppies, a red halo on her white pillow. All her hair falling like a red rain from her head, and she's in the movies now. She's no one's mother. Things don't make sense. I get confused. Sometimes I'm in the movies, she says. The yellow brick, the bedroom. She's smoking a technicolor cigarette that only she can see, drinking from a glass only she can hold. What are you drinking, Mom? Chateau Le Mans. Is it good? Yes, very. She's drinking from the house of the world today. I had this dream that wasn't a dream. If I ever go looking for my heart's desire again, I won't look any further. I'm drinking Chateau Le Mans. The power to go back to Kansas with pills for pain, pills for sleep, pills for function, pills to alleviate secretions, pills with propulses and blood pressures, pills in two places at once, earrings. I have to go home, she says. Somatic death, the death of the body, involves a series of irreversible events that leads finally to cell destruction and death. Here come the flying monkeys. I'll get you, my pretty. Can you help me sleep, she asks. We have pills for sleep. No, she says, I don't want to wake up. I want to go home. She wants the Asian coat, she says, and her shoes. Where are my shoes, she says. Click your heels together three times. One at a time, systems shut down. Poppies close in the dark. The dying person turns toward the light. Blood backs up into the lungs and liver, causing congestion. As for you, my galvanized friend, you want a heart. You don't know how lucky you are not to have one. A dying person turns towards the light as sight diminishes. Glinda floats down in a bubble, chases chipmunks on the ceiling, and they sent me home. Doesn't anyone believe me? All I kept saying to everybody was, I want to go home. The heart becomes unable to pump strongly enough to keep blood moving. Hearts will never be practical. Blood backs up first throughout the heart and your little dog Toto, too. She forgets how to eat, stabs bread with a spoon, doesn't want food. She wants scotch on the rocks. 
Okay. She drinks one, then another, then nods out in the poppy field. She opens her eyes and says, thank you for the party. I had a wonderful time. Hearts will never be practical until they begin, can be made unbreakable. Those magic slippers will take you home in two seconds. Thank you for the party. I had a wonderful time. But now I'm very tired and I have to go home. Now, whenever you wish. This is my room and you're all here. Oh, Auntie M, there's no place like overnight. The wind picks up, it rattles through her chest. It's a tornado and it's going, it's going, it's gone. Risa, this is for you. Once upon a time, your parents were a time bomb written in lipstick. Now you are a love letter written in blood. No one wants to think about their parents having sex. My mother told me the last time she and my father had sex was after his chemotherapy. He insisted they use a condom. He said, I don't know what's in me. He said, I don't want it in you. They were going at it when the Jehovah's Witnesses knocked at the door. <laughs> it's a message from God, they said. <laughs> and they laughed and they laughed and then they didn't. They started kissing again. You are now the age your parents used to be. We did not know we were beautiful at 20. Our radiant skin still knew we had lungs and heart and breathing. We had coil and electricity and spark. We proved our bodies against each other in twos or more and faster or just by ourselves. Our lips, some fresh toy, our lips when w wet with sun. To act as if our bodies are messages from God. Yes. Things go wrong over time. The back, it doesn't twist or bend. Up things don't, and the wet things aren't. <laughs> Bodies stutter and fail, and then sooner or later they stop failing at all. The point is before that. The point is there are many things I've done to bodies. I've held, kissed, caressed, sucked, licked, bitten them. I've stuck things in them. I've tickled and hit them and tied them up like trust chickens. And once on a very memorable night, I wrote sissy and needles on someone's inner thigh. But I've loved them. I have loved them. I have gone to church, I've found shelter, I've gone home, my lips wet with sun, to act with the knowledge that our bodies are God. I've been told I fuck too much, too hard, too fast for a girl, but I'm not a girl anymore. I'm a woman and my heart beats like prize fighters fists and I have not stopped yet, I will not stop. I will tell you I was built for pleasure because it sounds good. Sounds good. I will tell you I was built for pleasure because I was not built for work and I was not built for pain. I'll say it over and over because it's true. I was built for pleasure. The top five causes of death in the United States are heart disease, cancer, stroke, respiratory disease, and accidents. The only cause so far of human life is orgasm. The point is to learn that we are radiant now. Once upon a time, your parents were a time bomb written in lipstick. Now you are a love letter written in blood. There's a message from God inside my mouth. You can only read it with your tongue. The point is, the word is, yes. Happy birthday, Larks and Dirges.